The legend lives on, Bobby Orr's impact today. When it comes to the greatest hockey players of all time, Bobby Orr's name is often at the top of the list. The Canadian defenseman revolutionized the game, redefining the role of defensemen and leaving a lasting impact on the sport. Despite retiring over four decades ago, Orr's influence on the game of hockey remains undeniable even today. Orr's career spanned from 1966 to 1979, during which he played for the Boston Bruins and the Chicago Blackhawks. He quickly gained a reputation for his incredible skating ability, offensive prowess, and unmatched offensive instincts. He set numerous records throughout his career and earned countless accolades, including eight Norris trophies awarded to the best defenseman in the NHL, three Hart trophies awarded to the league's most valuable player, and two Conn Smythe trophies awarded to the most valuable player in the playoffs. One of the most significant contributions or made to the game was revolutionizing the role of defensemen. Traditionally, defensemen primarily focused on defending their own zone and supporting the team's offense from the blue line. However, or changed the game by taking an active role in the offensive zone, often leading the rush and scoring goals himself. He had an unmatched ability to read the play and make dynamic offensive contributions, seamlessly transitioning from defense to offense. Orr's impact on the game was not limited to his on-ice skills. His personality and playing style captivated fans and inspired generations of young players. He played the game with an unmatched passion and intensity that resonated with fans around the world. Kids everywhere wanted to be like Bobby or imitating his moves and dreaming of emulating his success. Today, Orr's impact can be seen in the NHL's current generation of defensemen. Players like Eric Carlson, Victor Hedman, and Drew Doughty have all cited Orr as an inspiration and someone they look up to. They have taken his style of play and elevated it to new heights, showcasing the importance of offense from the blue line. These players are not just defenders, they are influential offensive contributors. The notion of a dynamic defenseman is now the norm rather than the exception, thanks to Orr's groundbreaking contributions. Orr's impact is not limited to the NHL either. His legacy has extended to the grassroots levels of the game, where his style of play and approach to the game continue to inspire young players. Coaches across the world emphasize the importance of puck-moving defensemen and encourage their players to take risks and be creative. The Bobby Orr effect can be seen in rinks from Canada to Europe and beyond, as young players try to emulate his style and approach to the game. Off the ice, Orr's influence has been just as significant. Following his retirement, he became an agent representing numerous NHL players, using his knowledge of the game and his personal experiences to guide and advocate for them. He has been a mentor and advisor to many, imparting his wisdom and helping shape the careers of countless young players. His impact extends beyond just his playing days. It continues to shape the game in various ways. In recognition of his contributions to the game, Orr was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1979. His number four jersey was retired by the Boston Bruins, and he continues to be a beloved figure among fans. His impact on and off the ice cannot be overstated, and his legacy as one of the greatest hockey players of all time is secure. In conclusion, Bobby Orr's impact on the game of hockey transcends time. His revolutionary style of play forever changed the role of defensemen and inspired future generations of players. His influence can be seen in the NHL today, as well as at the grassroots level of the game. Orr's legacy is not just about his on-ice achievements, it's also about the lasting impact he has had on the game itself. The legend of Bobby Orr lives on, reminding us all of the transformative power of one player's contributions to a sport.